Hi everyone, this is Andrea from Adventures and Dreams and I'm bringing you another adventure today. It's a beautiful fall day here in the Adirondack Mountains and we are going to do a short backpacking trip to a very secret location. I'm very excited about this. It's going to be a lean-to that is right on the river and it's not in any map, it's not marked and I only found out about it from a good friend of mine from work and so I'm going to keep his secret as well. I will not film how I get there, or show you on the map or even where I park, uh, none of that. So the secret is safe with me but it should be exciting. Um, it's, I think it's almost three o'clock now here and it's definitely time to head out. Uh, I was filming some stuff here earlier for actually for basics for winter camping how to get that started and if you want to check it out the link is down below in the description and uh, yeah let's go guys let's start this adventure and I can't wait to see where this is going and uh, hopefully no one will be there there shouldn't be because it's secret <laughs> and uh, I will see you guys on the trail We are on the trail. Everything worked out well so far and it should be a pretty short hike. So we'll see. I will keep you posted. And almost halfway to our destination and I'm meeting a lot of people coming back this way. Everyone's super nice saying hello as always. People in nature are happy people. If you're only in the city and maybe you only meet crumpy people, get out here and meet some nice folks. <laughs> We are officially off the trail. We just met a couple of guys who knew about this place too. So maybe it's not as secret as I think it is. <laughs> but still. I like the idea behind it. <laughs> Let's just hope that no one is down there. But there are many places here, even in the forest, to camp at. It's very open. This goes down quite a steep section here. Might be time to put away the camera and not roll down this hill. <laughs> Hmm. 
we found it. Actually picked the right path from the from the start. Let's just hope there's no one here. Super cool. Beginning of October, um, I think it's the 5th today, and it's pretty cold actually for October. But it kind of reminded me of a story I wanted to tell you. So October is my birthday month, and a few of my friends, um, we love uh, rock climbing, and I was back in Germany. There was uh, one guy from Canada, a German guy, and I forget who else was there. But um, so we went uh, climbing. For a whole weekend for my birthday and we stayed in a place almost similar to this here we just had a, a fire in the middle and we had benches all around the fire and we slept right on the benches and once in a while at night someone would get up and 
put some more wood on the fire and um, it was just such a cool experience to sleep just without a tent, without much else, um, just out in nature and then climb all weekend together. That was really amazing. It's really the only other time that I slept outside without a tent. Some pretty good cheese that goes with my wine tonight. If I can get to it. This is definitely a new experience being out here in a lean to instead of a tent. It's a little bit warmer under here than uh, out there. Uh, it's going to be a cold night again. Yes, I have one of those packs again, a wine pack. It's just nothing more convenient for backpacking. <laughs> a fire show would be nice, wouldn't it though? That will be my bed tonight. I think I'm going to slip and slide a little bit. <laughs> Everything is kind of slippery. We'll see how it goes. The tent kind of contains you in a spot. You don't slide too far on it. to sleep my friends. There's not much else to do and it's chilly. It's definitely chilly out. So I'm gonna tuck into my warm sleeping bag and hopefully sleep for a long time. But I will talk to you in the morning. Hopefully without any incidents at night. <laughs>
morning my friends. What a beautiful night that was in the lean to. I really enjoyed it. It was very different from my usual camping in the tent. It felt a lot more open and airy and I could just and sit up in my sleeping bag and look outside. It was really cool. You do kind of get a little bit more maybe nervous because you hear at uh, one time in the morning or uh, uh, at night I heard a mouse uh, scrape or bite something in the lean-to. And I uh, turned on my light and then it was gone. So. I'm not sure what that was. I think it was a mouse. So you you do have a little bit that feeling that something could get into your sleeping bag. In the tent you feel a little bit more secure from the uh, insects and from the things that might be out there. But it's no big deal. It's a, it's a very cool experience. It wasn't nearly as cold as last night at the King Farm. I don't think there was even frost this morning. I didn't see any. If you saw my last videos from Algonquin Park, you will remember say, uh, me saying that I want something other than oats in the morning. Well, my friends, I have tiny chocolate muffins today. I had some yesterday morning already and they're super delicious. <laughs> so good. Bigger backpack means I can bring more things. <laughs> I will probably explore around here a little bit more. Take some video and photos of this place because it's pretty cool. But uh, there's supposed to be rain uh, in the early afternoon and in the evening. So I don't know if I'm going to do a hike today. I kind of doubt it. It's just going to be an easy Sunday for me. Even though the coloring of the leaves is amazing and I can only see a fraction of it here in the forest.
This is a neat little island here in the middle of the river. It seems to get beaten up a lot, maybe in spring. There is a lot of driftwood on the front of the island here and even in the backside. That's pretty awesome. I would love to see this in spring with the water crazy after the snow melt. Someone built a little bushcraft shelter here. It's not bad, except the place to sleep is kind of crooked. Unless they didn't sleep here, maybe they just sat here or they practiced bushcraft. Not bad. Everywhere I go, I try to pick up as much uh, trash as I can that people leave behind. Unfortunately, people still don't clean up after themselves. It was especially bad in Algonquin Park, actually, in one location. I picked up a lot of stuff. But even here, in this kind of secret location, where not as many people go to, people leave stuff. So let's collect all of it. We'll see how much I'll get. <laughs> I 
That's not too bad, actually. The last places I camped at were a lot worse. I always take the time to, to pick it up. So the next person has a clean place to camp at. But more importantly, uh, we help the environment to... Everyone can make a little difference. Pick up your stuff when you leave. Pick up extra trash that people leave behind. Because you, you will carry out your trash anyway. So if you can take just a little bit like this with you also, it's really no big deal. And it's just that much nicer out here. I love the jet boil. It's so easy to pack really tight in your backpacking. procrastinating again and I don't even know what time it is past one o'clock I'm sure but it's always hard to leave it's always so nice in nature now I have to go up this steep hill again to get back to the main path. I picked a pretty good path yesterday to come down here. We'll see if I find it again. I think it's straight up. So beautiful. Oh, 
right up this way. And this is where we came from. Maybe you can see the roof of the lean-to. It's a nice forest. Oh, here you can see how steep it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. I will put you away now so I can hold on to things. We are back on the main path and I don't see anyone right now. Yesterday there were so many people going back and forth and today there's nothing. <laughs> the wind is picking up and there were some raindrops earlier so I think the rain is coming at some point. This was an amazing trip again. Very short this time compared to my usual trips. But that's okay. Hold on, I have to show you this tree. I don't know if you can see how, how big this guy is compared to the others. Look at this. That's amazing. Huh. an old tree. I, I can't get the size. I can't give you a scale. It's just kind of a normal pine tree there on the right of us. And this is a huge... Uh, I don't know what it is. Wow. Very cool. Anyway, what I was saying, it was a great trip. Very different experience this time. Before I started this channel, I kind of tended to go to the same places over and over again. But since I'm filming uh, for you guys and for my family, I try to find new places to go to and new ways of camping. And it's been a lot of fun, I have to say. Kind of pushed my limits a little bit and my boundaries. Just to see something new and to experience something new and learn. I will not stop when the weather gets bad. I will still go. Because it's extra fun if the weather is kind of miserable but you're still enjoying being out here so. I hope these videos encourage you to do the same thing it's so much fun if you're already watching this you obviously love this kind of activity already and you, know, you love being in nature so just plan a short trip and get out here and enjoy it. As I always say, be safe, obviously. Tell people where you are and have a Enrich Mini if you can, so you can ping people or call SOS if necessary. This is a well-worn path and I can see where I have to go. But with all the leaves and if you are on a more secluded path that people don't use as often, you can easily see that it might be difficult to follow the path 
because of the leaves. <laughs> but this one is okay. I might as well say goodbye to you guys. Just have a little bit more to walk before I get to the parking lot. And uh, just a great adventure with you. Hope you enjoyed it as well. If you do and you want to see more of it, let me know what you want to see. Share it with friends and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I would appreciate the help and the support. <laughs> well guys, is it for my adventure now go plan your own and have fun out there i see you in the next one <laughs>